Today's question comes from Suman and she is asking me how to prepare for the NEET exam in 30 days. Hello Suman if you are watching this video. Today in this video we are going to discuss 5 important tips or you can say a 30 day plan which will help you to score good marks in your coming NEET exam. So in this video you will learn about those 5 important tips which you can apply to finish your NEET syllabus in 30 days. Because in 30 days, it is impossible to read the entire book for physics, chemistry or biology. So, it is the time to be smart and achieve our goals. So, without wasting any further time, let's discuss those 5 important tips for the NEET exam. First, set your schedule. Second, test yourself. Third, evaluation of incorrect answers. Fourth, selection of important topics and fifth, revise important topics and chapters. So we are going to discuss all those tips in great detail, step by step and how you are going to implement these tips under 30 days. So let's start with the first step, set your schedule. As you guys already know that NEET exam is around the corner so it is very important to use our time wisely and for that we must follow a study schedule. NEET exam is going to be held on 7th May around 10 a.m. in the morning. So on the exam day you have to get up around like 6-7 a.m. in the morning as we need some time for revision too. I read somewhere that um, if you want to make a core a habit then you should perform that core for 21 days at the same time every day and by the 22nd day it would have already become your habit. Now guys there is a scientific reason behind it. If you are performing a task in the day, daytime, your brain receptors are highly active during the daytime and you can perform that task with 100% efficiency. It should not be like that you are getting up at any time, you are eating at any time, you are sleeping at any time, you are studying at any time. That time has already gone for us. So you must follow a fixed schedule. Let's say you have to get up around 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning and sleep regularly by 11 at the max by 12 in the night. WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube, these things can wait for some months. Now your aim is to study properly and crack neat. So please stay away from these distractions. I'm not saying to stop it completely, but use it for less time and focus more on your study. I have been there. I have been in your shoes, so I know how it feels like and it's hard, but you have to do it, it's your exam and you know it better than me. So, and I wanted to say that um, take a deep and proper sleep so that uh, your brain can relax completely and you feel completely fresh next day after getting up. We have to follow a 14 hour study schedule. Yes, you ha heard it right. It's 14 hours study schedule at least you have to study 14 hours during the whole day now how to study 14 hours during the whole day what we have to do during those 14 hours so let's discuss that further let's say you are going to read biology for six hours as it is very vast and i don't know if you guys know but 90 questions comes from biology in need. So it is very important to read it properly and thoroughly and you must read it properly. 45 questions they come from physics and 45 questions they come from chemistry. So read physics for 4 hours and uh, chemistry for 4 hours. Now many students ask me that sir can we read physics and chemistry in one day and then can we read chemistry and biology the other day? So my answer to that would be no. You should not do like that. You must read all the subjects daily so that nothing is left behind and 
everything is under control many of you must be thinking oh god 14 hours that's too hard i can't do it which reminds me of a famous quote which says don't give up the beginning is always the hardest life reward those who work hard at it so remember this saying when you're f- feeling low or you're feeling depressed this helped me a lot while preparing for most of my exams so i hope this will help you too i you know guys the reason why i'm doing this why i'm making this video i'm sharing daily mcqs with you because i really want to reach some day somewhere that uh, i followed your tips and advices and i got selected in this medical college that's my wish and i'm really working hard for it and i want you guys to be a part of that dream and work hard so that we can achieve that goal together so please guys remove your doubts and start working hard from today you have time you have everything if you have any doubt ask me any time you can call me you can mail me you can text me and I, i would be more than happy to help you so which brings me to my next tip test yourself so at this point i think you all must know that where you stand so for that it is very important that you should test yourself now how you going to test yourself let's say you are getting up around 6 am in the morning so you will do the revision till 10 am and then you will give an exam from 10 to 12:30 at home daily now set an alarm in your alarm clock and please be true to yourself during the exam keep your phone and other distractions aside don't keep your phone near you just keep it away from you during the exam so for the exam what you need to do how how you are going to give the exam what questions you, you will solve during the exam for that i would say solve previous year neat or aipmd papers make sure the question paper has the correct pattern like it should have physics chemistry and biology combined same like you get in your neat exam consider it like your real neat exam and solve the paper don't joke with it okay please solve it properly you will notice that you will be very free while you will be solving those question papers at home because you have no exam pressure while you are at home so this is the main thing why we are doing this we want to remove the exam pressure which we face during the exam so if you will keep doing it again and again again and again if you are solving the neat paper daily then it would become your habit remember i told you in the start that it takes 21 days for a core to become a habit so by the end of this 30 day plan you will have no exam pressure while you are solving the paper as you have re- repeated this task many times 30 times during the whole month so this would have been your daily thing like you brush your teeth you you take bath you go for a walk it would have been your it would have become your daily thing so you don't need to feel pressurized for it now um, which brings me to my next tip that is um, evaluate your answers this is very important and you have to evaluate your incorrect answers now how we do this how we e- evaluate our uh, incorrect answers so let's say you have solved five questions from biology out of which question number 2 and question number 4 are incorrect so in this case i have seen most of the students they just see the right answer and they just you can remember read it, a question just like that it, for a day or two or maximum a week but not until your neat exam so if your answer is wrong open the book and read your question see where you went wrong and what is the right concept understand it and write that question in a notebook also 
write the explanation of the answer for that question now why we are doing it because when we write something we tend to remember it for a longer time so if you are repeating this every day for all the subjects you will have a book full of your mistakes and with the correct answers so you can go easily through them and be sure that you have rectified them already and by doing this you won't be scared anymore and now just i want to add one additional tip while you are writing the explanation for wrong questions then don't mix the subjects write physics mistakes in one book chemistry in another and bio uh, biology in another book if you still have doubts you can always message me or call me i will include my contact details at the end of this video i also want to discuss one additional secret tip i don't know if you guys know it or not but uh, 30% of the questions uh, they get repeated every year in the neat exam not directly but the topic will be the same let's say you had a question from kidney regulation so the chances are this year a different question might come from kidney regulation topic so you are solving neat papers daily you are giving the neat exam daily so you already know the answers for 30% of the neat questions at the end of this 30 day plan let's evaluate this further in uh, great detail let's say in biology you have 90 questions so 30% of 90 is 27 in chemistry you have 45 questions so 30% of 45 comes around uh, 13 something and in physics 45 question comes so 30% of 45 is again 13 which brings us to a total of 53 questions out of 180 questions so guys you already know 53 questions out of 180 questions and you have already won 30% of the battle without even fighting it it's a, it's like a win win situation for us so with this uh, in mind let's move up to our fourth tip this is the very important section of this whole video so please be more focused and listen to what i say very carefully now the fourth tip is selection of important topic now guys we have less time we all know we have less time for the exam so it is very important to select important topics i'm not saying you will get all the questions from the topics which i am suggesting but yes the ratio of question will be less from other topics let's say uh, if uh, we have 10 questions from ecology and two from morphology for me ecology is more important and same goes with other topics too so you first try to finish these topics and if you have time then do the other topics in chemistry um inorganic chemistry is very simple uh, topics like p block d block f block are all very easy topics and you must read chemistry from ncert ncert is a must for chemistry you should follow it properly guys okay and um, let's uh, move to our fifth tip revise important topics and chapters so we have to revise important topics and chapters so how to do it first you have to give your neat exam from 10 to 12:30 then you must evaluate your wrong answers so let's say you you finished all this until 3 pm now don't stress yourself don't keep studying like continuously for 10 hours 12 hours 
take a rest now take rest for some time chill out do fb do youtube eat go for a walk or do whatever you like talk to your girlfriend or boyfriend anything and then divide the remaining time accordingly as you have as you have uh, already spent 5 hours from those 14 hours so let's say you are doing ecology and it has four chapters so don't spend all day reading ecology try to finish four chapters of ecology in 3 hours now how to um, finish like what to read in those four chapters so revise important concepts from ncert like it has a uh, biomagnification eutrophication chip co movement etc etc and i have seen this pattern that they ask dates in uh, bio questions so please don't leave the dates behind write them in a book or somewhere and just so that you can um, remember it for a long time then let's say you started um, electrostatics in physics so you must finish this topic in 3 to 4 hours then do the same thing revise important concepts like how to solve capacitor or uh, read the important formula so learn it right it history with p block elements as and you, uh, you finished p block elements and you started s block as it is very small topic and i think it's the easiest topic in chemistry so if we see you gave a test you evaluated your answers and also you finished reading all the so subjects you're studying a lot so, so it is you should do this important to uh, take care of your health you uh, you should stay healthy and you should stay fit don't take exam pressure at all and fall sick because you know this is going to reduce your performance and it is going to consume a lot of your time so please take um, good care of your health and if you're feeling depressed or have any sort of exam related difficulty feel free to contact me any time I would be more than happy to help you because you know I have seen many of my friends getting into this depression thing because of entrance exam and I just uh, recently read an article in TOI Times of India and I was shocked to know that every year most number of suicides happen in quota and I felt very sad and I decided to help students by giving them the right direction guys i'm not here to make youtube money or earn fame my only motto is to help you guys because at one time i was in your shoes and i can feel what you are feeling now so i am doing all this for my old self i will try to bring more such videos for you guys in the future so please uh, stay in touch if you found this content helpful then like this video share it with your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe to our channel